Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Stationary Satellites in Physics. So a satellite is really just any object that orbits another object. And usually we refer to uh, these stationary satellites as satellites that we put up that orbit the Earth. So if this is the Earth here with radius R1 approximately equal to 6.378 million meters, and we put up a satellite that orbits the Earth at a distance r2, which is going to be equal to r1 plus, let's say that this distance right here is approximately 75 miles or 120,700 meters. r2 is then 6.5 million meters or 6.5 times 10 to the 6 meters. Here I'm using scientific notation. So the definition of a stationary satellite is a satellite that exhibits what's known as geosynchronous orbit. And geosynchronous orbit means that the satellite is always on top of the same location as both the Earth rotates and the satellite orbits the Earth. So in order to understand this in terms of mathematics, we have to understand circular motion. So this rate of rotation is usually denoted by the Greek letter omega, and it's known as the angular velocity. But then we can also have a linear velocity, and this linear velocity will not only depend on this rotational rate, but also the distance away from the center upon which everything rotates. So, the equations for that, for an object on the surface of the Earth, the velocity of that object of the surface, on the surface, will be equal to the rotational rate of the Earth, omega 1, times r1, which is the distance, the radius of the Earth, the distance from the center to the surface. Likewise, we'll have v2 is equal to omega 2 r2. Now, if we have geosynchronous orbit, that means that these two omegas will be equal uh, to just omega. So, if omega 1 is equal to omega 2, and we just call that omega, then we can form a relationship between these two velocities and these two distances. So, we have omega 1 is equal to v1 divided r1, and this will be equal to v2 over r2. Therefore, the ratio v2 over v1 is equal to the ratio r2 over r1. So we can calculate what the linear velocity of this satellite in the geosynchronous orbit is by considering the rotational rate of the Earth. We know that the period is equal to one day, which is approximately equal to 8.64 times 10 to the 4 seconds, and the angular rate or angular velocity, angular frequency in this case, is equal to 2 pi over the period, so the units are in radians per second, and if we plug in this period into t, we get an omega of approximately 7.27 times 10 to the negative 5 radians per second. So we can simply use this equation relating linear and angular velocity to calculate what the linear velocity of an object that is in a geosynchronous orbit would be if it's 75 miles above the surface of the Earth. So v2 would simply be equal to omega times r2. So we multiply this number with this number, and we get a linear velocity of approximately 472.6 meters per second. So this covers the basics of the geosynchronous or stationary satellites orbiting the Earth. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Stationary Satellites and Physics.